nothing, you don't stand to gain anything. And if uh, you take the chance to believe in something, at least you have a chance to inherit. Exactly. And, I mean, even, even a kid can understand that. That's why uh, the Bible and, and modern Christendom is a universal, a universalizing religion. Because it, it, it's so... I don't want to use the word dumbed down, but it's so simple. Even a child can understand modern Christendom and, and understand that Christianity is a uh, belief system that it, it, it's one of the largest belief systems in the world or religion. But I didn't want to say religion because we haven't clearly defined what a religion is yet. And that's why I wanted, before we started doing that, uh, I wanted us to understand what exactly is a religion. And that goes back, I have all these documents and stuff. <clears throat> that goes back to, um, we, we've got to, mu we first must have to clarify what a religion is. Because if you don't know what it is, I believe, okay, this is what I believe. A, reli a, a true definition of religion is the difference between moral goals and I lost the thought but hold on let me go back to um, some anthropology notes I did when I was um, getting ready for today's broadcast because we, we need to we need to start understanding the difference between science and belief and objectivity and subjectivity and I think that that's why it's important to like let's first break down the true definition of religion and you know that's going to be something I, I, I didn't really want to do it but we need to all right religion as a definition um, well the first thing like I said is going to be uh, the moral belief in goals versus the belief in a god or gods because in Hinduism they have a pantheon of gods that they believe in um, like Shiva the destroyer uh, what, what what is some Krishna, which is a Vishnu, which is an avatar of Krishna? I mean, don't they have like they have like all these crazy gods out there? I mean, not I don't even think one single human being could know and understand all of those gods. And you know, as a a Christian, a modern day Christian, it might not really be healthy for you to look into something like that if you're not strong willed and and you don't stand firm in your belief system because. If, if something like listening to our daily broadcast, like today, what I'm starting to bring you, uh, causes doubt in your belief system, it, it causes doubt, because that's not what we're here to do. But if it raises questions that takes you away from the Word of God or, or, or the ancient holy text, then you need to shut our broadcast off. Because, you know, that is turning people away from the Word of God, and we don't want to do that. We want to bring people closer to the Word of God. I mean, because you can get punished. In, your, in, in the afterlife for doing that. And, and you can also get punished for not bringing the Word of God to people, right? I mean, so this is why we're trying to be very careful. Uh, we want to tiptoe. We don't want to step on anybody else's toes or feet because uh, this is a very sophisticated topic. And, and what's interesting on YouTube, nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody that has a really powerful syndicated broadcast that actually does have some... Um, serious financing and serious production behind it wants to talk about these issues because it's not something that can be confirmed or denied scientifically or subjectively you know don't you think that um, this is not something that the history channel can just come on and give you and say this is the concrete explanation and definition of um, modern Christendom or modern day Hinduism who is to define those things that's why we go to church that's why all around the world, and especially in America, there's tons of churches. Because no one's forcing you to go there, but every church is different. I mean, I mean don't, haven't you been to like quite a few different places, you know? A couple. Before, I mean, a lot of people do go to a couple or a few before they find where they fit in. It's not about saying, oh, that place is not for me. It's just what actually is um, not even appealing but what is actually important to what's going on with your life and, and the way you view uh, the Supreme Being. Um, so to me, it, it's 
Religion can be broken down literally, literally, which means a, a reconnection. If you want to look at the literal definition of religion, a reconnection to um, uh, your higher authority, and it dis it's, it's, it's distinguishing between the ordinary. I mean, does that somewhat make sense? Because once we go further into anthropological studies that I did, we're going to just distinguish the differences between the paranormal and the supernatural. Distinguish the difference between the, the fanatical and the uh, mystical. And, and that's very important to look into these things as an objective scientist, but at the same time, if you're not strong and you don't stand firm with the Lord, it, it can harm you and it can, it can be detract, it can detract from your connection with the Lord, don't you think? I mean, that's why you gotta be very careful. That's why we said a prayer before we started. Because if you wanna stay in the parameters of Christianity as an anthropologist, you need to pray. And you need to uh, be firm in your belief because anthropology makes you look at dangerous things and highly controversial things. And I learned this. And it, it can, it, it, it's not something that's a big deal, but you just gotta keep that in the back of your mind when you're suspending your disbelief. Okay, so moving on right now, let's move away from religious definitions and stuff and um, go back that I want you guys to know that we're going to cover um, how important Christianity was in human history. Probably in human history from, I would say, the beginning of time to the 1500s. That'll be a good starting point where I, because if, if we do from the beginning of time to modern day, that's way too much information to cover. Because just from, <clears throat> like let's say, that you know, cre I don't want to say creation, but from a long time ago to the 1500s, that's a good spot. Because we're going to cover all the Chinese dy dynasties, we're going to cover, you know, like ancient Rome, ancient Greece, ancient Athens, and, and, and even how Christianity played an important role in those ancient civilizations, because they did, even though a lot of people don't think they did. I mean, here's one little thing that I'll, I'll throw out there. Um, the philosopher back then in ancient Athens just posed a question to go from the pantheon of gods of Zeus and and, uh, and all of that pantheon, Poseidon and the ancient <clears throat> uh, Athen Athens and Greek, Greek gods, uh, to the, the question of the belief in one god got him killed. And if you know who I'm talking about, you know the name of that philosopher. I don't even need to say it. So um, that's why it's important to understand your history. Uh, because once you understand history, then we can transition into fighting the New World Order politics fighting, you know, sitting here fighting the, the whole entire, we don't want to fight globalization. Remember, I told you, I promised you I was going to be different. I wasn't going to be a punk and, and, and be sarcastic anymore about that. Because if we don't want to be cynical, but you got to be careful. Because if you don't, some people think that the all state is God. So you don't want to stamp on their toes because they hold political power. But at the same time, we have the right to speak out under the protection of free speech. So that's why it's important when you do this, you've got to be ready. When you go down that path, you've got to be ready. So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, I want to talk into the psychosomatic symptoms of uh, mental health and conditions. Because I think that it will be important for us to understand certain mental conditions um, because it's like, why do we think people have a stronger connection when they give testimonials of hell or testimonials of heaven, but then some people label them as crazy or some people label them as mental? But what if they just have a, a sixth sense kind of thing or a sense that we're not on a dimension or a plane of reality that we're not, our eyes haven't been opened up to? Like you hear a lot of prophets, don't you hear a lot of prophets and preachers? Talk about opening your spiritual eyes. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in, in all of this, you've been kind of quiet today, which is, it's interesting to see my friend here uh, 
I don't think he was quite ready to step into my new syndicated broadcast because usually he's here when we do the TCG with LFG and we're you know we're playing the games and stuff. But off screen, he's a different person. Do you have anything you want to say? I mean, all this that we covered, I mean, I've totally changed it up on my followers. I mean, we're, do we're doing a lot of this. I mean, we're still going to do the games. We're still going to bring you puppies and videos of all the puppies and the, the animals and the antiques. But this is kind of important, especially in the year that we're in. Do you think, I mean, do you have fun discussing these things? Yeah, I was just unprepared for all this. <laughs> well, it's okay. Uh, I mean, I'm sure a lot of our followers are going to be unprepared, especially like when you hit this or especially that you saw that I did a special report on the Batman massacre, but I stayed away from the actual news reports and, and the facts and was more focused on um, my analysis of the movie back in 2009. I mean, if, if you go back to my YouTube channel, you'll find um, the review part one and part two because I was just kind of reviewing it from a standpoint of their, their movie budget and production value. And I gave a little bit about, I didn't really want to talk about subliminal messaging and reprogramming in the video because again that's controversial and I don't think we're ready to go there yet because I want us to understand some doctrines and understand some certain concepts uh, in the social disciplinary section uh, that we're studying right now especially in the diversity of globalization so I told you guys I was gonna leave you before we go to the break I was going to leave you with um, the uh, uh, the other movie analysis that I did, but we rolled over through the um, break because what we were talking about was so important. So we're going to take a break, and when I come back from the break, I'm going to give you this a movie analysis, okay? All right, bye.